I am overjoyed to have come close to conquering it, um, but sad to see it be done. Like I said, we will come back with Dark Souls 3 DLC when it releases, and I would be shocked, shocked, I tell you, if From Software never releases another uh, Souls game or Bloodborne game. Um, so I would expect to see those return to the schedule if they were announced or released. But uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens today. Hey, Chaos Factory, how's it going? Sir, Raphael, Ganymede, Kevin, Gahan, Six Gun. We got a couple really solid attempts against this boss um, yesterday. We had one that I probably would have won uh, if I had a couple more Estus Flasks, if I had done more well in the first phase. And another one that I may have won had I known that the younger prince does this little AoE attack when he's rezzing his big brother. Um, so I died there because I didn't know that, but now I do know that. Um, we can be prepared with that knowledge for our winning attempt soon. So without further ado, let's go uh, Let's go fight the twin princes. I still haven't des decided. I was up last night trying to figure out which one I wanted to do. It's probably either going to be Metal Gear Solid or Castlevania. Um, what I'll do today is if I beat this before the scheduled time, depending on how much time there is, I might just try to knock out a little bit more Persona 3 before we switch to Monster Hunter Generations. If it's really close to the end of the stream time, then we'll just do Monster Hunter early, and we'll start up a new uh, franchise next week. <laughs> right. All the DS games. This is a really cool boss fight. I think that pound for pound, this game probably has the highest quantity of high quality boss fights, if that makes sense. Like, my favorite bosses are spread throughout the whole series, but there's a lot of really good ones in this game in particular. This is among them, this fight's really cool. Could have gotten two hits off there instead of one, that's okay. More damage than I should have taken there, but that's okay. Ah, I should have dodged that. We're in close enough there. Should learn that move a little bit better. I'm not so great about it so far. <laughs> Couldn't get a chance to pop my ember. Thank you, camera. That's cool. We're back! Playing Dark Souls 3 again! Woohoo! <laughs> my goal here is to get into Phase 2 when we're fighting his younger brother um, with at least 9 Estus Flasks, which is pretty aggressive. That means that I can't get hit very many times at all, so I gotta be really careful. Um, I might... Do I want to throw on like a fire resist ring or something? Do I even have one? No, I only have dark damage and lightning absorption. I must have missed forever I picked those up. I guess I could use... Try throwing on some of these uh, pellets that make me take less damage. Yeah, why not? I mean, I'm not going to use them for anything else ever, so I might as well give it a shot. So there's one particular move that he always does a two-hit combo, and I haven't yet recognized, I didn't think there's like a clear audio cue for it, um, but I have to pay attention to the fight and see when that second swing is, because I keep trying to stab him and it's getting killed. Oh, this is going to go down, isn't it? I forgot to send it back down, didn't I? Let's see. Yeah, shit. Womp womp. I guess I haven't thought what to use that other Titan Knight slab on. Probably not going to matter. I'm just going to use it smooth for the rest of the game. It's really, really good. Gets the job done. I would also be okay with using the Ember during the first phase of the fight if he deals enough damage to me that... Uh... I'm going to take this off. If he ends up doing enough damage to me that I'm like almost dead. That's an efficient use of the ember since it's much safer to heal during phase one. 
switch to add this guy, and then why not switch this one too? Although I don't think that the magic damage is as big of a threat. At least the, the little missiles are easier to dodge, and if they hit you, they don't do a ton of damage. Remember which end of the stick is the pointy end. Good looking out. We'll give it a shot. Send it back down. This guy's even aggro me. Oh, perfect. Yeah, I knew what they're doing. I don't know whether this is even going to make a noticeable difference, but we'll see. Okay, so that teleport move always follows up. So does that one, it looks like. When he swings straight down, he doesn't always necessarily follow up. That would have been a good time to use an ember, but it's okay, I can't. Shit, play it, roll there. I did not. I'm just gonna try practicing all his moves to learn the combo. One, two, teleport, slam. Yo! Ah, and it even uses the ember. Yeah. Maybe I should wait to use the ember until phase two. I keep thinking it's safer during this phase, but because he can teleport to me from across the room, and once I start the animation, I'm locked into it, I think that, that might be a bad idea. So another option is just go into a fight with the ember already ready. Um, so I have, I get potentially more use out of my Estus flask so I can use them a little bit sooner. <laughs> Now in this game, if I don't hit them at the pointy end, is it, does he use? Oh, thanks for the message rating, fellow. Good looking out. Jeez. I think that maybe the best time to use the ember is at the very beginning of phase two, because there's a really long wind up on his. Uh, Lothric casts a uh, a big like multi missile spell. It's kind of slow to come out. I think you have just enough time to get it off and then run away. Let it go. Most of my attempts have made it to phase two. Now I'm kind of trying to optimize uh, phase one and die a few times to learn his move set. I could just go at it the way I was going at it before and just go all out, heal whenever I need it. Wow, that's wonderful when that happens. You can't rely on it though, unfortunately. That hits like a truck if you let it hit you. I need to figure out what his stagger level is too. Oh, there it is. But I didn't use it. I rolled away. The fool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Those moves that knock you way back like that. Shit. Looks like the fire pellet wasn't doing me a huge favor as far as damage dealt reduction. That's a good move to try to punish it. Sometimes he does three hits there, but I don't know what turns it. Get out of dodge. Aww. That's a bummer. <laughs> That's the first time where I thought I was doing the right thing and died anyway, so... I think I sort of just got unlucky with uh, his downward slash attack. Whooping me on the head right at the end when I was about to test his flask. Maybe if I had spam dodge and got another space backward in the middle, that would have been okay. <laughs> These guys are tough. This is a really cool boss fight, though. Oops. Turn on. Put myself into... Autopilot for getting to this boss fight here. Curious. I have like 40,000 souls and consumables available to me that I could spend to get like one more level up, and that's probably not going to make a big difference to worry about. 
That's not what's getting me killed. It's making mistakes. It's getting me killed. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, stamina is really not a problem. It's just got to get good. Let me try using the fire buff pellet thing again. See if that spares us enough early damage to get by here. What's up, bro? Sometimes that happens, right? And then sometimes that happens and he swings right over my head. It's great. I wish he would always do that, you know? Shit, don't kick, you dumbass! How many times have I told you not to kick? Ever. Never, never, never. I thought he was close to getting staggered there. There it is. Oh, I think he may have actually gotten a repose potential there. I just didn't hear the sound in time. Cool. Phase two. We'll watch the cutscene again since it's a new session. It's a pretty cool cutscene. I actually didn't realize they were just two princes. We saw uh, a couple people cosplaying as these guys at PAX. And Flaring was kind enough to just like, yeah, that's a Dark Souls 3 boss. Um, but I think that the one playing Lothric was a girl. It was like a dude and his girlfriend. It looked really cool. I just like how he grabs onto his neck. Hey, Namaku, how's it going? He's fighting one of the coolest boss fights in this game so far. I think my top three fights in the Soul series so far are Nameless King, uh, these guys, and uh, Ludwig from Bloodborne. For that is our curse. Waffles are good, and Ben would agree with you on that subject. The curse is to not be able to stay dead. It's kind of a bummer for y'all. So cool. Phase two, bitches. So the gimmick here is we gotta kill. We gotta kill both of them, right? Or at least we gotta kill Little Man. Because once uh once Big Man goes down, Little Man gets a chance to res Little Man, and it's not good for us. Oh shit, I rolled right into that. Jeez. Oh, he does a follow up there. I think I learned that in the previous attempt, I just forgot about it. Yeah, I really gotta hit Lothric here too, you know? Lucky. I was super lucky on my part. It's actually pretty good if I can not die here. Ooh, that was bad. Dude. Don't teleport at me, man. Roll right into that. Should have seen that one coming. Oh, what the hell? Why do you teleport away from me? That sucks. Needs to be less damage to me. Here. We gotta dodge! Alright, that was at higher health that time, so. It's okay. Okay. Keep trying to hit the prince with each attack here. The young prince, I mean.
Get out of dodge! Don't let the little missiles kill you! And that fight was so good. God, everything about that fight was freaking awesome. Wow. That was so good. We've got this, Marstead. Pirates. <laughs> First try. And you said there aren't any optional bosses that I'm missing at the moment? Pretty much good to go on there. <laughs> I always feel my, uh, praise the sun, praise the sun. It's like their funeral pyre. Oh, this game's so cool! Yeah, let's go back home and see what's up. Guessing that, like, placing the last bit of cinders is what triggers the end game. Um, okay, so earlier in the game I gave eyes to the Firekeeper and that was implying that I was going for the uh, the darkness ending where we extinguish the flame. Um, we said that doing that was not a permanent decision, that I could back out of it, and when I've talked to her about it she said something to the effect of, if you want to back out of that decision you just have to kill me and come back and it will be undone. Is that the case? Um, so I, well, you know, I haven't done the darkness ending before. Uh, okay, I guess I'll phrase it this way. Is there any difference in content between doing the darkness ending and the length of fire ending? Or is it like the other games where, no, not really. It just, you know, changes what the, the cutscene is. Ah, just what neat. Force means, I don't. don't have to kill her. Great. Okay, maybe we'll do the darkness ending because I've done the, the light one in every other game so far. Yeah, let's do it. It would be appropriate too with the whole theme of this game being this cycle's gone on forever, and shit's not getting better, right? Shit sucks. Maybe you can wrap that up for us here. Go see what weapons we got. I never checked the old the Dragon Slayer armor boss soul either. Let's go check that out. Wait, did I want to do this? I have a. Farewell, Ashen. I have like a. Dexterity thing on. Okay, good. I'm gonna cut myself. So that's 32 well, dex, 31 very vigor, probably. Well, Farewell, Ashen Warming. Swift boat undead against our skill. For hope. She just respawns indefinitely, it sounds like. But this place didn't really have music when we first got here. We may have to do that. Uh -huh. Okay, Crystal Sage, DXD, Aldrich. Twin Princes, Lothric's Holy Sword, Prince Lothric's Straight Sword, blessed by Emma with potent magic. Hmm. Young Lothic was meant to be a champion and was expected to wield this platinum sword, but some things will remain distant dreams forever. Assume stance to imbue sword with sacred light and use strong attack to release light together with great thrust of the sword. Yeah. Lorian's great sword. Alter great sword of Lorian, Prince Lothric's older brother. Cast in smoldering molten steel and stained black before Lorian embraced his brother's curse. He was a knight who single handedly slayed the demon prince. Interesting. The victory turned the scorch to sword with flame. Hi, Ben. Where are you? Flame of Lorien. Lunge forward to transform Smolder into flame and follow with strong attack to launch them across the ground. It's okay, Ben. Drags a great axe. 
Once formed part of the armor, they can be imbued with the power of lightning and use the skill to drop on the beast and use to save large dragons. You like Lorian's great sword in PvE? Cool. Hold dice on your knee that appears to light up the smash ground with bolts to the ground. It's okay then. Bye. There's high protection to lightning, which the Dragon Slayer commanded as his own, and its skill is faint echoes of the Dragon Slayer's own fighting style. He's so cute. Hey creature, how you doing, man? Loaded question, but how's Arkansas? <laughs> I'd love to do a Punch Man playstyle off stream at some point. That would be fun. Try to play through all of them with fist weapons. I'm going to turn in this last Cinder here. <laughs> Alright, so I think they all have them now, right? Is there any that I forgot to put in there? Yeah, so we go talk to the oh, firekeeper. She's walking forward. Hey, hey. The five lords sit their five thrones. Oh, you can combine them? That's really cool, sir. Most worthy of lords. Ashen one, with the lords as thy witness, bend thy knee before the bonfire's coiled sword. And let the Lord's embers acknowledge thee as their true heir, hmm. a true Lord, fit to link the fire. I like this idea that the past Lords are like, you know, there's been these Dark Souls 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, and all of them went through this, fighting all these bosses. Well. Then touch the do take no it's not that he just wants me to Farewell, hang out. Farewell, Ashen thou thy peace discover. Here we go. Oh, dang. God, it looks so cool. The environment design in this one is top notch as well. well. We'll see how it wraps up, but this game is really, really good. I'm excited for the DLC. And the lords go without thrones. Surrender your fires hmm. to the true heir. I love how dark the part of the shrine grows. It's such a small fire, too, right? So mild, right? I feel like lesser games would just do this crazy flame animation, which is like these tiny cinders, bits of ash Let falling on your head. Death. To the old gods of Lordran, deliverers of the first flame. Hmm. Final boss, maybe. <laughs> nice. This is the final area of Dark Souls 1. I was hoping this is where it was going to take us. And I thought that this area looked like that when we got here in the first place, right? It had all the ash everywhere. It looked like the kiln of the first flame. Cool. Yeah, and, I, and I've been wondering with them going on about, you know, 
fighting the lords who link the fire. If like the protagonist of Dark Souls One is going to be the boss, or maybe do something similar to that. Curious to see where they're going with it. Holy shit! Wow. <laughs> Do you think this is what the world actually looks like? Wow. Look at this, man. This is ridiculous. That's why I wear a metal Monty Python helmet. Crap cable. Oh, I see. That lets me exit. Okay, that's a little anticlimactic. We'll go back in in a second. <laughs> so you're not locked into following that path, I suppose. This view ahead, no kidding. How oh, is it going to teleport? Supposed to be this flameless shrine. Gotcha. Dude. Wow. And I wonder if they're going to give us some, like, nominal enemies on the way, like we had in Dark Souls 1, the Black Knights, defending at the end. Yeah, this is itself also a long hallway. Weapon required ahead. Okay. Oh, I love how they've done the clips up there. All the swords in this ancient battleground. Soul of Cinder. Hey, he's the guy on the box art. I think that is what he's supposed to be, though. This guy looks like he's giving you a thumbs up on the box art. This is the final boss, presumably beyond. I'd be shocked if there's another boss after this one, I should say. He's got the coiled sword. use an ember in this fight, I forgot. I like how he's just a really straightforward uh, sword fight, right? He probably has a second phase, it's a little crazier. He has some pyromancies, cool. Ooh, poison. Plus the poison. Ouch. <laughs> he got all those crazy moves. That's awesome. He just buff himself. I think he might be supposed to represent the protagonist of Dark Souls 1, right? Because he's using all these different tool sets. He's got lots of different weapons. He's got pyromancy. He's got sorcery. He might bust out miracles later. It's such a cool way to do that. This is a pretty awesome fight. Shoot, run! Shoot your lasers at me, come on. Oh, he pretty much always has lasers now, unfortunately.
Yeah, he's changing weapons. It's really cool. Kind of keeping up the tradition of the last boss not being as bad. Oh, I see. I think I need to kill him with one of those. Or is this... That was only phase one, maybe. Oh, I think we're supposed to repost him to kill him there. I screwed it up. So we'll have to beat him on the next try, since I don't have the resources, I don't think, to beat him now. But now we know for next time. It's cool. He still has... He still has uh, miracles. It's awesome. Uh-oh. What's he doing now? <laughs> oh, that was a bummer. I was in the middle of an SS flash. <laughs> God, that's a cool fight. Oh, the music too. Is the um is the light piano playing there? Is that a, a redux of Gwyn's theme? Redux Souls one? Yeah, this fight's rad. Okay, I'll try to make better use of my resources. I can actually use the uh, Ember as a heal this time, too. I think that's what he's supposed to be, little DPCI. And I was I was hoping that from the very beginning of Dark Souls 3, when they established the whole thing about going back and beating the old Lords of Cinder. So he uses pretty much the whole possible tool set from Dark Souls 1. He's got sorceries. He's an SL999. <laughs> player. Grind it out and got all the stats so you could use all the abilities. Now, I don't know, okay, it doesn't look like I can actually do a repost there, so maybe it is just legit two phases. He's got the ninja flip ring. <laughs> Up for. So we got pretty good value out of the thing that reduces my fire damage. Ooh, that's okay. Still got the number off. Worth it. Yikes. So much stamina. <laughs> and the poise, right? Oh, that was bad. Uh-oh. Ow! God, that animation's so cool. Yeah. He does the roll spam sometimes, it's fun. He's supposed to be every possible character you could play in Dark Souls, right? Not all roll spam. Most of them do. <laughs> See, there's the roll spam, right? Buffing himself. Ouch. <laughs> A little roll. Yeah, I should have fought the boss before, I have no idea. Got me some slack, Jack. Magic phase. Shit. That does actually do damage to me, plus a man from outside. So I think it's just that it's not that you have to repost him during that phase, it's that he just has two hit bar health bars. Ouch. 
did better in the first attempt, but I think we can get this guy for sure. He's a cool boss. Looks like he has fewer hit points in his bar in this phase, too. Try to learn some more of his abilities if we can. Be nice. <laughs> Alright, Propagable. Let's go again. If I wanted to, like, really just double down on fire resist. I guess it would make sense that I already have a really good fire resist set. Yeah, it's the armor of the sun. Fat roll, which I don't want. That's its own problem. I will just roll with the search. I might pop back into the Firelink Shrine and buy a bunch of those uh, Firebug pellets just because it looks like it lasts for a really long time. Firebug pellets save me some uh, resource expenditure in the fight. This guy has like 10 phases or more. There's all the different weapons he switches between. It looks like it's all based on different hit point values, not necessarily like. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. <laughs> At least he didn't waste the ember that time, right? I figured that was low enough on health that he could tend to use one. I should probably at least get him close to phase two before I bother popping an ember. <laughs> Yeah, and I, I like that this dude is easier than Garman. I mean, maybe when the DLC comes out, the DLC is going to be super hard. And if you played through this one the way I played through the other Souls games, where you do the DLC first and then go to the final boss, the final boss seems pretty trivial in that context. But right now, he feels really well tuned and super flavorful and fun. Yeah, I agree. This would be the time to do it, little DPs. Right? I forgot to turn my pellet back on. Is it? Kind of a waste, that's okay. Having the extra health is really useful. The first time I tried the fight, I had a number of the whole thing. He's probably parryable too. Looks like I could do that charge move, but the cooldown is so long, it's just getting me in trouble, right? It's got the cool charge attack. <laughs> Super spin. Spin to win! Yeah, careful guys on posting spoilers or anything like that. Um, if I need help, I'll ask chat. I probably won't be able to look at chat much during these attempts anyway, so... Right now I'm still basking in how cool this fight is, so I'm sure at some point when we get close to the time limit I'll double down and actually try to win. <laughs> Instead of just delighting in how cool it is. I think I gotta prolong Dark Souls 3 as long as possible because I don't want to see the series go. I've had people, you know, try to coax me to the dark side. You should, you should just play Dark Souls. Play dark Souls. No, no, no. We got a mission here. Beat every awesome game. Right? There are others. And I'll eat a hat if this is the last Souls or Soulsborne game. I'm sure there'll be at least one Blood one game. damage, but I always take a hit when I use the R2. So I think that, unfortunately, R1 spam is the way to go. It would be nice. I don't know. 
I've heard this complaint about both Bloodborne and uh, Dark Souls 3 that R1 spam is pretty effective and there's much less reason to use other attacks. Um, I think it just has to do with, well, you have the lack of poise, right? So if you if you end up getting hit after using an R2, you're you're gonna go down. You can't keep fighting after that. Mr. Melasco. And unnecessary. Maybe this guy, I just really can't get away with hitting him twice. If that's the case, it might be better for me to switch to the Great Spear. I keep wanting to get at least one more hit up on him, right? But it just doesn't seem to be worth the attempt. That's my chance to hit him more than once, is when I stagger him. You almost have to fight him more like a, a PDP match. Avoid the attack, get a hit in. And I just got a <laughs> scimitar. Maybe it is random. I thought it was based on time. I guess it just has a lot of potential forms you can use. Uh, this is pyromancy mode. He gets pretty aggressive here in this phase, too, it looks like. Now he's got a katana? I don't think I saw- oh, this is the catalyst. Right? Oh, shit. Holy shit! I have ever seen that move before, jeez. What the hell was that? It was really cool. I don't know how I didn't die to it, it was just because I was spam rolling. It's definitely one of my better attempts so far, and I'm gonna die soon. Promising. Oh no, don't heal! Oh, I'm not trying to hear. <laughs> he does have a miracle move. Cool. This is the one we want to run from. Yeah. You just gotta get away here. You don't get extra damage. Maybe one shot. Phase two. Four more Estus flats than I had last time, which is exciting. He does the jump attack windows? He does. Cool. All right. Try to take that out. Then. That might be the move set. I mean, only I fought Gwyn once when we played Dark Souls One forever ago, so don't remember super well. Uh, now the fight's going on long enough that it just leaves the piano behind. Me. Rad. <laughs> That's a cool attack. Do you jump? Whew. God, this fight is so awesome. This is the great way to end it. I don't know how the DLC can do much better from this, right? Yeah, it's the same jump move you can win.
<laughs> this guy's just so delightful. It's wonderful. It's exactly what it should be. This is like there's a there's a scene after the credits at the end of Deadpool, and as we're watching the movie, I was talking to Andrea, and I was like, "There's there's a thing that if they're gonna do a post credit scene. It has to be this. This is the perfect thing for it to be, right?" This reminds me of that. It ended up being you know, the thing that I wanted it to be. <laughs> oh shit! Come on, buddy. Ow. Run, 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 run. Do your jumpy. That is not your jumpy. That's it. Okay. That can work. With that. Probably get a lot of damage off on there if you roll through all of those swings, but. Uh oh. That's not good. Get out, get out, get out! Whew. Now would be a bad time to choke. You're doing pretty well. Luckily, he just chills through that animation, right? I wouldn't even get my heart going just because I was just elated. Wow. Lord of Cinder Fallen, Soul of the Lords. Oh, that fight was perfect. I don't think I could ask for anything else. They couldn't have done that better. That's exactly what they should have done. I should read the soul description on Princes as well here. Three Princes. Two princes rejected their duty to become Lords of Cinder and settled down far, far away to watch the fire of faith in the distance. A curse makes their souls nearly inseparable. Since Lord Gwyn, the first Lord of Cinder, many exalted lords have linked the first flame. It is their very souls that have manifested themselves as defender of flame. Yeah. So it's like... It, it's, it's almost like it's the combined soul of everyone who beat Dark Souls 1, right? All of the player characters at once. Which makes sense. Bonfire in the center. Time for secret. I did it. Summon Firekeeper. Oh, um, okay. I would like to do the darkness ending. Does that demand that I summon the Firekeeper rather than touch the bonfire? I assume so, right? She said to summon her when I was ready. We did the the light ending in all the other games. I think I want to do the dark ending in this one. Um, in Dark Souls 1, you do the dark ending by just leaving the, the final uh, battle arena. Okay, cool. That's a cool way to do it. Give a thumbs up to the message that says secret. Time for secrets. Pull his mask off. Old man Willikers! We've gotten rid of the two of them. We're going to be undead. Meddling undead. Alright, it's darkness time. Let's break this cycle. It's gone on too long. This feels nice too, because this required doing some secret stuff. It's not just like do you press yes or no at the ending? It's a more deliberate story decision. Although I probably shouldn't be wearing Solaire's costume when I put out the fire. That's pretty sacrilegious. Gwyn kind of looks like he's an old evil fisherman that's trying to get competing business out of his wharf. 
<laughs> it's got a like squinty eye. Ah, see. The first flame quickly fades. Darkness will shortly settle. Praise the sun. If you love something, let it go. Yeah, it could be poetic. But one day, tiny flames will dance across the darkness. Was it all I light in the universe? By Lord's past. That's how it happened in the first place, right? It's this kind of like big bang, big crunch <laughs> analogy. I'm in control doing this. Cool. I like how they give you control there during the end. Ashen one, hearest thou my voice still? <laughs> ah, I'm so sad, man. You ever had you ever had a feeling of like happy sad before? Like when you get like those free song tingles through your body. You don't want it to be over. Let's see if I can fix that. Fix it. It's a PS4 thing. You get an, an additional ending if you kill her during that little segment. Interesting. What does it change? Anything significant? I think it's I think it's satisfied sad, right? Right. <laughs> yeah, when did I play Dark Souls 1? I think Legend of Zelda took us about a year. I think Bloodborne 2 is going to happen for sure. Oh, you take it for yourself. It looks like I did Dark Souls January 12th, so... About... Almost 10 months to play through the whole series. With a little bit more with the DLC coming out. Um, compared to Zelda. Zelda we started in June and finished in... in May of the following year. Yeah. So Zelda's a little bit longer as a full series. Yeah, no for sure, absolutely. So pretty comparable. Damn, that was a good game. I think I like all of them guys. I I'm sitting here trying to think, like, what's my favorite Souls game? I think they're just all really, really, really good. Um, Demon Souls is maybe, like, Epsilon below the rest of them, just because it was their first foray and they had to learn some lessons. But even Demon Souls is... If the rest of the series is, like, a 9.9 .9 out of 10, Demon Souls is a 9.8. Um, oh, Castlevania and Metal Gear Solid. Not Metroid. Metroid's on the voting spreadsheet, and we've already played a bunch of like, prime games, so... God of War next. <laughs> I never actually beat any of the God of Wars, I think. I think I've played a, a, probably 70% of God of War 1, and maybe 10% of God of War 2. Castlevania is a pretty pretty deep series to go into. It'll, it'll be the first time I have to go into a series where I have to exclude some of the games, because there are some really bad Castlevania games. Um, but all of the main series side-scrollers are quite good, and the, uh, the Metroidvania ones, um, the genre-namer, 
are all amazing. <laughs> Castlevania has a kick-ass soundtrack. Yeah, I was thinking about saving Castlevania for a 24-hour stream. I haven't decided yet. My thing with, with that is that I really want to like actually beat all those Castlevania games, and it's going to be tough for me to come back to Mario, or it'll be kind of piecemeal, since we we beat a few of them, but we started a lot, and they're just kind of halfway through or a quarter of the way through a ton of Mario titles. Yeah, I heard about the, the Norse God of War. That's pretty cool. I'd have to decide interesting decisions to make in both Castlevania and MGS as to what order I play them in. Um, with Zelda, I made the effort of doing the, the timeline order of playthroughs. So rather than do release order, do it in the order that they're supposed to appear in the official Zelda timeline. Um, if I did Castlevania, I might just do release order because I think it conveys the development of those games a little bit better. But then again, timeline order might be interesting. Um, there, there is a, like, a legit Castlevania timeline, more legit than the, um, the one in Zelda, but just as easily ignored. <laughs> Yeah, I agree about release order for MGS. Well, the, I guess the thing that it would stop me, Propagable, is I wouldn't. I might want to play Metal Gear Solid before we play Metal Gear One and Two. Um, and that's that's unfair. It's because as a Westerner, we didn't get the official releases of Metal Gear One and Two because they came out for the MSX in Japan. They didn't get an official release out here until I think MGS Two came out. So I think that most Westerners experience Metal Gear by doing MGS1, MGS2, maybe playing the ports of Metal Gear 1 and 2 for the MSX and then getting into the MGS3. But by no means would I start with um, Snake Eater. I think that that would be a, a travesty in our front against the series. Yeah, the Aria games are really good. That would be an ending. That would be a great ending if we ended with Timeline. Uh, let's see. I know, right? Castlevania is probably the smoother transition. Maybe we can try to have a, a theme of transitioning series that are lightly linked. So like Souls has been described as being really hardcore Zelda. And then Souls kind of has that Castlevania light horror theme. So we went to Castlevania from there, and then the link from Castlevania to MGS is Konami. <laughs> and we have to find something to hop from MGS. It makes sense. Journey to the Shrine Mother of Yes, let's not do that. Let's save this file for when the DLC comes out. Thank you, From Software, for not making. Well, not that I would object to doing a second playthrough off stream just to be ready for the DLC. Uh, let's quit the <laughs> uh -huh. <sighs> Man, man, man. I went for the darkness and doing. Begin journey two. Okay. Go ahead and spend these souls now and think about it. <laughs> then call upon. I am a firekeeper. Thou hast given me eyes. Very well taken. I'll update and close out my save file for when the DLC comes out. Oh not that's Mayst thou thy peak. Thanks. Cool guys, so I don't think I can make a lot of meaningful progress in Persona 3 if I just play it for another hour and a half. Um, I might if I did Dead Space 3, although I think I'm just going to go with this decision to do... Well, let's see, what's the earliest game in the Castlevania timeline? Castlevania timeline. The earliest game in the Castlevania timeline. The earliest game that doesn't suck. <laughs> Castlevania 3. Castlevania 3. 